and there is no reason on earth why Prince Charming cannot walk through our front door. Hello. <laughs> Well, that was basically developed because when the first show, there was a, it was being written up until the last minute, and the girls were going to a snooty dance or a snooty thing they were invited to, but they didn't have the dresses to wear. So they're trying to figure out how they would get them and all that, and, and the thought was, what if Lenny and Squiggy get them? What if Squiggy has uh, his... Here's a great stretch. His uncle owns a wax museum in in Milwaukee, and uh, on it they've got like uh, Hollywood stars and uh, Anne Blythe and Betty Furness or something. And so Lenny and Squiggy steal the dresses and bring it to the girls, and so that's the way it is. But when we were doing it. We said, well, you know, we didn't really write the stuff except for Lenny and Squiggy, so we were sort of responsible for that. But I said, but in the first scene where we appear, the girls seem to hate us. I mean, they're repelled by us. Why the heck would they, why would they let us into their house, into their apartment? Because whenever they knocked on the door, the city would say, who is it? And they would take the baseball bats and, and I said, but if they're going to do that, then there's no way they'd let us in. They would hit us and it just wouldn't be worth it. So I, Michael said, well, maybe we could do a joke on it, like when the girls are talking about, you know, their dream, their dream boat of the future. Um, have Penny say, or have Laverne say, oh, oh, uh, oh, oh, Cheryl, uh, your Prince Charming might just walk right through that door, and with that, the door opens, hello, and that's it, you know. So that was the first, we figured if they go in on a joke, people wouldn't say, well, wait a minute, why is it everybody needed to knock, and why didn't they have the baseball bats, and how did they have the, the door was unlocked, which is they'd always seen it locked. So, I mean, it was kind of like, figure if they're laughing enough, they won't be able to say, God, that's bad writing. So, um, hello. And then Gary liked that. He liked that joke a lot. And we started, when we were doing the next show, there'd be a thing like, well, and the audience went liked it. So I remember Gary said to me, that hello is like your dynamite, which was to me frightening because people walk in a door and if they blow it up, you know, we just said hello. I said, I don't think so. No, no, no. Hello is going to be your famous line. And I said, but people have always walked into rooms on television and in real life and they said hello. Anyway, the real joke is what comes before. The fact he says hello is a timing joke and it really, yeah, all over the, you expect the cavalry and you get the Indians, you know, it's that kind of thing. So I explained that and I thought I made myself clear, but then when I saw the next script, it was like, so Squiggy would say, well, I was thinking, hello, that we better not, hello, we better not go to the store, hello, and I said, what is this guy, has he got Tourette's syndrome, what is this, well, hello, it's your dynamite, I said, yeah, but you don't, even if it was, even if dynamite, he doesn't say dynamite every third word. We want to figure out where it goes. So I said, no. I, and then I made a rule. If you're going to do this hello joke, no more than one a show. That'll be, because otherwise the audience will be yelling out hello before I come on. So that was the rule. It's a good rule. Yeah. And the only time that it was, was broken or changed was in the show where I played Squiggy's sister, Squendolin. And one of the writers said, is it okay if Squiggy's already said hello, but if we let Squendolin say hello? I said, sure. She's a different character. <laughs> so she should be respected as such. If you like the Boomer Tube, why not subscribe? And to see the full interview, check out our Patreon page to become a member. We upload new exclusive content every single week, and you can access our library easily. Thanks.